darling, did I doze off again? Oh, I'm sorry. It must have been the wonderful smell of that soup that lulled me to sleep. The smell of potatoes, garlic and chicken, all coming together in a big pot of deliciousness. Are you sure you don't need me to help? I feel so lazy bundled up on the couch like this. Covered in blankets from head to toe. I know I can't help it, but I wish I wasn't so useless when it gets cold outside. Especially during the midwinter festival. Other lovers are kicking up their heels and dancing the night away. But I'm stuck here on the lounge, barely able to move. <laughs> True. It could always be worse. Oh. Thankfully, I don't need to fully hibernate like other monsters. Otherwise, you wouldn't see me until the first warm kiss of spring. And it would break my heart to be parted from you for so long. How do other monsters hibernate? Oh, lots of different ways. Take owlbears, for example. They stuff themselves full of food and then sleep right through the winter in a huge nest lined with fur and feathers. <laughs> I've heard they can get so big you can barely see their beaks poking through all the fluff. <laughs> Us cold-blooded creatures just slow down to a crawl and need to be smothered by blankets. And while my appetite isn't strong this time of year, I welcome every last mouthful of hearty stew, roasted game, and sweet fruit pies that you pour all your heart and soul into. Speaking of which... Is the soup ready? It is. Perfect. Um, do you need any help serving it? No? Very well. The coffee table is clear and I've sliced up some bread. So bring over the bowls when you're ready. Oh, thank you, my darling. Oh, that's so good. Did you add some dried thyme to it? Oh, I knew it. I may be a little slower during the winter, but my sense of taste is just sharp. <laughs> mm. <sighs> hmm? Oh, I'm starting to feel much better, thank you. But... I'm never opposed to you putting your hands on my face to check my temperature. Don't be deceived. You know I always run cooler than you hot-blooded humans. Trust that if I were in any discomfort, I would tell you, alright? And while I am very comfortable and content with my soup and blankets, the best way you can keep me warm is by snuggling in close to me. Let me take your hand and gently put it here on the side of my neck so we can move in closer. Hmm? Oh, you need not worry about my serpentine hair. They are fast asleep, but you may tangle your fingers in them if you so desire. I love it when you kiss my forehead so tenderly and hold me close to you like this. Your warm hands cupping my face and neck, oh, softly warming my scales. I could spend all winter long curled up with you like this. <laughs> You like the sound of that too? I thought you would.
Mm. But before we get too carried away with your beautiful hands, I have a little present for you. You have one too? For me? Thank you so much. I wrapped your present in this beautiful silk scarf while you were getting supplies last week. Here, let me put it in your hands. Yes, the fabric is so soft, isn't it? And what did you do with your little present for me? You hid it under the lounge. Very sneaky. <laughs> you wrapped my present in cloth too. Brilliant minds think alike. But open yours first. You've done so much work today, and I think my gift will be perfect to help you relax. Yes, it's a metal tin, and once you open it, I want you to guess what it is. Yes, it's tea. Can you tell what kind? I know the room is already full to bursting with delicious fragrances, but you have the most amazing sense of smell, so I want you to take a guess. Very good. Yes, indeed, it's a black tea with dried apricots. And what else is in there? Yes, you got it! It is vanilla and cloves. Mm. Mm. Well done, my darling. When you were out on your last adventure, I dried the apricots and blended the tea myself over the summer. That way, when it was ready for the midwinter festival, I could give you a little taste of sunshine to keep us both warm this time of year. <laughs> You're most welcome, my darling. Can I open my gift? Yay! Oh, it's a new book of poetry! Thank you so much! <laughs> of course I'll read some to you. On one condition. <laughs> Can you... Would, would you mind giving me a bit of a massage? While my beautiful hair slumbers over the winter, it gets a bit heavy and makes my neck and shoulders very stiff, having to keep it all aloft. Try as I might, I can't get this ache out of this side of my neck. You will? Oh, thank you. Uh, let me just uh, turn around and give me your hand. Here, that's the back of my right shoulder, and you know the rest from there. Could you just oh, press your thumbs harder, please? Uh, yes, right at the base of my skull. Oh, that's so much better. I'm sorry, I know I can be so needy this time of year. In the wilderness, we Gorgons sleep in a big pile together during the winter, wrapping ourselves around each other under a big pile of furs to stay warm, the smallest coiled up in the middle, and the stronger ones on the outside, to protect the most vulnerable of us. For a long time, I was worried that leaving my people would be certain death for me. A lone gorgon in the world is often a target for ambitious adventurers looking for a trophy. But fate had other plans, didn't it, my darling? Thank you for taking care of me and protecting me during this state. I just... It means a lot to me that I can rest easy during this time of year and I don't have to worry about being stumbled upon when I'm in this slower, more vulnerable condition. 
I can just <laughs> let myself melt away in your hands. I love that I can be myself completely with you. And it makes me so happy that you feel so safe with me. Instead of running away like so many adventurers have before. Ah, yeah, yes. Right there at the base of my shoulder blades. Ah, that's the spot. I feel like I could fall asleep like this. But I said I'd read you some more poetry, didn't I? <laughs> and even though I could never get enough of your warm hands moving across my scales, I want you to enjoy some of this beautiful poetry you've brought me. Here, move the blankets so they're around us both, and you can comfortably rest your chin on my shoulder, as I... Move my back against your chest. Yes, you can wrap your arms around my waist. <laughs> oh, this is lovely and warm. All snuggled up like this. Just, just let me get the book. And let's see here. Ooh, some of these poems look beautiful. I can't wait to read all of them to you. So rest your head, hold me tight, keep me warm, <laughs> and I'll read until neither one of us stays awake. Sound good? Lovely. Ooh, let's start with this one. The Venturer's Repose by Bartonel Felwyn. Hmm, nice name, don't you think? <laughs> All right, here we go. The silver bark's great leaves now curl. The chill of frost tide hasn't come, and yet the smell of snow is on the wind that touches all with its robes sweeping hem. And I, too, curl beside the trunk and wonder if I will see my home before the winter. This bed of bark and rocks has worn me tender, yet still I sleep and dream. <laughs> 